The Caribbean Broadcast Media Partnership on HIV AIDS brought together over 12 journalists from the Caribbean to Washington, D.C. for the 19th International AIDS Conference, AIDS 2012. Over 21,000 delegates from nearly 200 countries, including more than 2,000 journalists, are in attendance for this biennial event. Really, one of the reasons that you're here is that we want you to be the champions of incorporating HIV communication across your program genres, whether it's news, whether it's public affairs, entertainment, and each of you represents that mix. Coordinator of the Greater Involvement of People Living with HIV from Jamaica, Ainsley Reed, is optimistic that the Caribbean journalists will take back the message that the Caribbean can position itself to end the AIDS epidemic. We know that many people living with HIV have been abused, have been discriminated, um, you know, such as abandoned, families abandoning their HIV positive family members. Um, uh, workplaces are actually turning on some of the HIV positive staff, employees. And so it is important for us to look back. What, what do we need in the response to ensure that the rights right, of the people living with HIV AIDS are the driver of our response. So I really believe that the enablement of the environment so that people living with HIV can feel committed enough to come forward and also to be part of the response. It is not good enough for us to come out and say that I'm HIV positive. I need to know how to take care of me. I need to know um, what I need to take care of my family because I'm still alive, I still have needs, I still have social needs, I still have economic needs, and how do I get those addressed? Thousands from around the world attended the opening ceremony for AIDS 2012, which so, saw addresses by numerous leaders in the forefront of the fight against HIV. One of the most memorable messages came from 13-year-old Edube Taylor, daughter of Florence Uche Ignatius, a Nigerian woman living with HIV for the past 14 years. She had a pointed message for all present. I want all children, all children, to be born just like me, free of HIV. Every single one of them. Please, I am begging, let us make this world an AIDS-free generation. Let's make it a reality. Thank you. The message is clear for Caribbean journalists attending AIDS 2012 that they have an important role to play towards changing the tide for an AIDS-free generation. From the 19th International AIDS Conference in Washington, D.C., I am Glenn Simon from the Government Information Service St. Lucia for the Caribbean Broadcast Media Partnership.